So we're walking back past China. Alex has got bubble tea. Um, first bubble tea she's had in weeks. We're not going to go into every single pavilion, otherwise... This video is going to be like... As it is, it's probably going to be two. Um, but we'll go and have a look around the Italian pavilion because for some strange reason, Alex has a special spot in her heart for Italy. Mm. So this lot's from the German pavilion Beef. store. Beef. Booth. Thing. <laughs> now I can tell you that that's apple strudel and cream. This, this I'm not even going to begin to try and pronounce what it's called, but they called it a noodle. Um, I think it's mac and cheese. Fancy mac and cheese. Fancy mac and cheese. All right, we'll taste this. This smells really good. Mm. I can smell cinnamon. That's what I can smell. All right, we'll eat this and let you know. How was the mac and cheese? Mac and cheese. It wasn't mac and cheese, but how was it? It was good. In my opinion, it tasted like lasagna, just without pasta sauce. And the meat. Well, there was bacon in it, so oh, when you got it? bacon, it was like lasagna. <laughs> apple strudel tasted pretty good. Pretty good. The apple is really, really soft, soft, like it's not crunchy apple. Plenty of cinnamon. Mm. I can't look at the camera with both eyes. No, I've got one eye half shut as well, but it's probably going to look so weird. <laughs> Alright, let's continue on. We're inside Germany, and this is comes off the Werther's store, but have a look how pretty these are. Wow. They're way too expensive to uh, decorate a tree with it. But this, this one here, $24.99. These $29. $29. Same with these. Have a look at them. Beautiful. Check out these ones. There's a circle. Mm. They are. Come on. $21.99 each. They're circle. Y'all, they have a pickle tree. Pickle Christmas tree. All the pretty glass figurines, which I'm very scared that I'm gonna knock over. It's a Winnie the Fair and Piglet. And up the top, it's like a big sparkly Elsa turning around. Wow. How much is she? doesn't say but the ones over here which are about the same this Tinkerbell one is about six thousand nine hundred dollars this Dumbo one is nine thousand five hundred have a look at these ornaments they're so pretty oh I like the Christmas tree one the back and there's little ones here smaller ones that don't have like the opening it's too dark they're so pretty. There's like Mickey ones over there. I feel like I'm talking too quietly. <laughs> my personal Hello. favorite princess. Oh, Dad's trying to talk to me. Anyways, my personal favorite princess. You have a lot of Belle stuff. This is something I would buy if I had the money, but you know, I don't have $295 to spare. Where? Alex? Yeah. Look at me. We're going to have a Rome around Italy now. Ah, I did, I did. Wow. I don't think there's too much back here. We went through the shop before, but it was all expensive stuff. Pizza. Yeah, it's mainly restaurants. I know I said we'd have a good look around Italy, but there was uh, nothing there. We'll put up there was a what fountain. we saw. There was a fountain, yes. And Alex threw money in there. 
now we're now we're going to Morocco looking for Princess Jasmine. Jasmine. Where are you, Jazz? Just Epcot. There is a distinct lack of shade. Like it's all wide open spaces. Like and I get it contributes to um, like the scenery having not a lot of like big like undercover areas like it feels like you're wandering you're meant to feel like you're wandering around outside in all these places but it's just the weather here sucks <laughs> <laughs> we're heading out of the park now going home getting changed coming back so we can meet people <laughs> yeah it's a bit bit hot we've had a lot to eat so we go home have a rest come back to eat come Aww. come back when it's cooled down a bit just quickly while we're back at the hotel this is all the stuff that i got from the um japan pavilion um i got a bunch of studio ghibli movie stuff because um they're really lacking in stationery in walt disney world Japan had a lot of really cute stationery in their Disneyland and so I got a lot there but here they didn't really have any so I bought some in the Japan Pavilion instead. Must be a Japanese thing then <laughs> to have cute stationery. Um, so I got this little notebook with um, grid paper. It has a little ta -ta -da there and um, the little dust dust things. <laughs> I've forgotten the name around the outside. And then I bought this Kiki's delivery service. Um, like, I don't really know how to say, like, kind of like memo sheets, but they're, they're like pretty big, like this is the size of my hand. And then I bought some sticky notes, Totoro sticky notes. And then I bought some Totoro stickers. Here, all the designs on the back. And then I bought these two memo pads. There's a Kiki's Delivery Service and Totoro one. And then the designs are also on the back. At first I thought they were just like black and white um, or like craft paper colored, but I did open them afterwards and they are colored on the inside. So that's good. Yep, that's it. <laughs> yeah. We need a new pair of shoes tonight. New shoes. New shoes. Okay. In the front. And now that we're thinking about it, we need new mascara too. Um, enough, I am Donald Duck. Oh, you're lucky she saw you first. Oh, go. <laughs> Winnie the Pooh has gone from honey to <laughs> empanada. <laughs> empanada from the islands of the Caribbean. But it's a little bit hot at the moment, so it is. I'm we'll gonna see if I can like break off. Let me get back a bit. Alright. Let's have the pastry first. Have the pastry. The pastry will be nice, I'm sure. You could give mm. a gallon the sauce is nice too. What sort of sauce is it? Tomato aioli. 
Oh, very nice. Let's have a look, quick look inside. Mm. Get into it. Really? <laughs> I didn't know that. It nice. tastes like taco mix, you know? You know that taste? Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's what it tastes uh -huh. like. <laughs> nice. Mm. Everything's good here. <laughs> it is, it is. I just had uh, some chicken chicken no. with peanut sauce on it from Thailand and it was uh, it was really nice. I don't know what it is. So. It's a taco. We, <laughs> from we, we went to the Mexico one and got this taco with Dan yep. pork belly. Oh, yep. Don't expect anything too big for your money because Yeah, this is like but that's good so you can eat you lots can and eat lots, lots and lots. <laughs> Pretty good. Pretty good. What kind of taste? Pork belly taste. <laughs> tastes like pork belly, but it also tastes like peas. Oh, like is there like some stuff. sauce in there? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, the yeah. Green yeah. stuff, I think, is peas. Okay. But nice. Good. Very nice. Now I've got pork belly stuck in my teeth. Oh yeah, I get that. Now we're eating dumpling, dumplings. Dumplings from Gyoza, China. No. Japanese. So. Chinese dumplings. Do you want any of this? Maybe. No, that, no, that's no. noodles. No, it's not. It's like cabbage. It's okay. <laughs> Tastes like chicken dumplings. Chicken like dumplings. Good, chicken good, dumplings. good chicken dumplings or bad chicken dumplings? I've never had bad chicken dumplings. Mm, so they're good. And we're not starting today. Okay, very good. It's uh, half an hour left until the show starts. There's quite a few people in here. It's going right around the whole of that cot around the lake. We got these big ass torches going. Very hot. We didn't do an outro yesterday, too tired, so we're here at Magic Kingdom. Yep. <laughs> I have to think about it, I'm getting old, am old, not getting there, I've made it. I um, hope you enjoyed that, food was fantastic. Really, really good. I didn't expect to want to eat so much, but I did. <laughs> yeah, and that's all you wanted to do. Oh, look yeah. at that, I want to try that, and you just kept every booth you went to, wasn't it? Yeah, we like barely did anything else except eat. <laughs> Walk around and eat. Three laps around the lake and, and 20 plates of food. Beautiful. All right, thanks for watching. We'll see you next week from here. Hooroo.